gather the others. I have something to say to all of you. Yes, yes, that's it. Gather round now. I have much to impart. I wanted them organized. They're organizing. For he to preserve us. Now, let us review. In our time thus far, you have both done, um, better than expected. Mr. Confident, isn't he? Very polished. I didn't see him helping. Yeah. But then, there's more for us to do. Right. However, some of us are still allowing the past to exert undue influence upon our minds. Minds Papa gifted to us in order that we might aid in the fulfillment of his grand and masterful plan. Of, of which our dear friend Min's unfortunate passing was a, a tragic component. You okay, Mr. Fishinacci? Uh -huh. What? Yes. Please do not interrupt. <sighs> well, I'm sure it'll work out wonderfully. Mr. Tagfer? Mr. Tagfer? You look mad. Why are you mad, Mr. Tagfer? Huh? Mr. Tagfer? Why are you mad? You have proven yourself worthy of trust. <clears throat> Stick around for a while, will you? Cool. Mr. Fishinacci? Mr. Fishinacci? Mr. Fishinacci? Mr. Fishinacci? Mr. Tagfer's been bumping his head against that pipe a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. Mr. Fishinacci! Why is Mr. Tagfer bumping I his head? I bloody no! I don't know, Bird 3. I... Tagfer? One couldn't help but notice your behavior taking on an uh, uh, idiosyncratic bent of late. Uh, is, um, is everything quite all right? Dagva? Dagva? Uh, what reason would I have to think everything isn't quite all right? Should I rephrase? May I merely wish to comfort you, to aid you, if I can, in this the moment of your grief. Another word. Oh, I've had quite enough of this. You are not. The only one here dealing with the horrors that besieged us in that accursed bill! The fears, the nightmares, the guilt! What would any of us have to feel guilty about? Fibonacci? Rock? <laughs> You... you are my ally, a, a friend. You understand the tortures of the soul, the manner in which a crisis reveals character, yes? How... how one might... might be ashamed of what a calamity reveals about oneself, yes? Please, prove to me you are an ally. Stand with me. Stop him! Anyone! He's lost his mind! Ah! 
Preserve you. That was me, in the hope that we might find a cure for for void exposure. Then that means the clock's still ticking. We're gonna die. I'm. I'm working on it. I don't care. I want the fish. What? He did it! He killed her! He killed Min! What? I just told you that you're going to... Hold on a minute. The specimen... Min was lost to the void. Vented to the void! By him! Why would... To save himself! Or so the coward thought! Tell them! Tell them what you did! The void had penetrated the bell. It was in there... with... us. Before it started talking, though, it made us smart enough to understand it. And that's when Fibonacci here lost his shit. Panicked. Tried to get it out by blowing the seal. Min was closest when it popped. After the monitors failed, Albrecht wondered how you all came to be exposed to that degree. Fibonacci? His name isn't Fibonacci. Of the four of us, he's the only one without a name. Aren't you? Mate. Weren't even part of the group. Didn't even get a label. A late addition is all he was. An afterthought. A fish. Why name something too stupid? To hold a memory for longer than 15 seconds. I want to hear what- He's killed me! You've killed us! All of us! Papa. Forever kissing the fist that beats you. Papa? Papa is a stinking liar. Men and I were the last Surfalites. But Albrecht didn't see our species as having worth. We were just one more component in one more experiment. And Papa didn't think much of the results. So, tag for disposal. That was us. Both of us were. Tag for. But I won't let her go on with that. I gave her something better. She's Min. We were never meant to be here. We only ever had each other. And now, not even that. Papa? Papa? Spineless void damned Albrecht. I want to find him as bad as you do. And you'll know what I do. Because his head's going right in your stinking tank. I... I never meant to. I... Lloyd... You can't imagine what it was like 
to suddenly exist is horror enough, but to suddenly exist to comprehend so much, only to be faced with extinction. I... I'm sorry. Walk, 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 walk. You have stood with us within this benighted valley, besieged and friendless as we are. You have stood with us. Thank you. <clears throat> Tagva has requested we gather. I hope you will be there. All right, Tagfa, Fibonacci. Listen, I can work with the fish. The murmur has to be kept in check. Tagfa, I... Hum. Like it or not, the fish is more clued in to Albrecht's diseased brain than I could ever be. If I'm going to find that prick, I need the fish. Jagfer, you won't regret this. I promise. Goes to show, fish. You ain't as smart as you'd like. And your promises are shit. I already do. Uh, uh, he made you a widow, but he made me a murderer! be dumb. Yell, 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 yell. Hit and hit and hurt and hurt. We lost it all. We lost green and run and food want and smell follow and sky blue and min. And all we got for all that losing are these big brains. Big brains in each other. And you want to lose that too. Brains by being dumb and each other by throwing us away. We're all we got. Nobody knows what it's like being us. Nobody but us. You're not mad at each other. You're mad at you. You can't hurt everything that hurt you. Sometimes things just hurt. Sometimes things not wrong, sometimes things just are. We're all we have left. And you want that to die too. And knock it off! The sea rises, the light fails. Lovers cling to each other and children cling to us. The moment we cease to hold each other, the moment we break faith with one another, the sea engulfs us, and the light goes out. What's that? <clears throat> Something from... Uh, <clears throat> from Old Bricks Library. No. I mean, what's that? You don't look right. Shit. Neither do I. Lloyd? Your color. The void sickness is advancing. Remaking you the way the murmur remakes everything. Lloyd? I'm close to a means to reverse the process. I... I think... <laughs> you think? I need to return to my instruments. Forgive me. <sighs> Three. Bird? Hey. Bird? <laughs> Lloyd! Mm. 
Lloyd has prepared for us to uh, uh, undergo treatment. Oh, oh, oh. As we are the only creatures to have fallen afoul of this particular affliction, it will be quite an achievement should we survive. Perhaps you'd join us for the big event. You never know. <laughs> it may actually work. <laughs> and if not, um, be a love. And ensure the silly old thing doesn't flagellate himself for the failure. You know how he is. <clears throat> this way. The chamber is sealed. Prepare for saturation. I've done all I can. Increasing saturation! Their levels of decay aren't shifting. Pushing to maximum! I... I... I'm sorry. I tried. I daren't open the chamber. The radiation in you. I, I don't know what. Is... is there nothing? We're done, Fish. No point in howling about it. Uh, just... just gonna sit down. Will... will we be like men now? We'll all get to meet her, Bird. Don't you worry about nothing. You can talk her ear off, and she'll love you for it. Bird? Bird? Tag for... It's not your fault, Fib. We just played the hand we were dealt as best we could. Not your fault. None of our fault. Fib? So long, fish. <laughs> Lloyd, you did good. <laughs> Bad comedy. Their void contamination levels are dropping. Of course. Huzzah. At least I'll be able to bury... Their... Their contamination levels haven't dropped! They've... Alchemized! You... were dead. I guess it didn't take. There's definitely some weird crap going on with us right now. You want to explain this? We're... Incandescent. Some kind of chromatic volatility. A side effect of void and anti-void and something I can't quite identify. A reaction that saved your lives, but... Did that... Are you ridiculous? <laughs> We look beautiful! We look purple! Not me! I want to be yellow! <laughs> Good grief! How did he do that? I want to be... red. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! <laughs> I'm still purple! Everything's green, so everything's clean. Let's... let's get you out of there. 
<laughs> Everything is not green. Oh, 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 void. I'm green. I'm green. <laughs> Let's at least pretend this mess can still work. When the grandchildren were still very small, Kalimos fell sick. I did what I could, but there seemed to be no hope. Albrecht took Kalimos away out of our sight. He told us she was recovering and mustn't be disturbed. And one bright morning, Kalimos came running up to greet us. All better. I often wondered if he simply cloned her, and the original had died. If he did, he never gave any sign of it. So far as Albrecht was concerned, Kalimos was Kalimos. I'm glad the Carvia made it, Tenno. I couldn't help Kalimos, but we saved them, didn't we? I was thinking, maybe we can be devolved back to what we were. Maybe, maybe I could live with that. Simplicity, you know? Nothing complicated upstairs. No demons. Hey, listen. Thanks for... Well, giving us a purpose. Stopping us breaking apart. Better to be alone together, right? The last little while has been the... Well, happiest is a stretch, but... Least miserable I've been since all this happened. We all owe you for saving what little we had left. But just so we're clear... When we find Albrecht, the old man is mine. Even if I have to go through Lloyd to get to him. Let me know if I can help. Listen, I only been thinking for a little while, and I think I might have been dead there for a bit, so maybe I'm not doing it right, but I know I'd have been dead for more than a bit if it wasn't for you. So anytime you want to go in that chamber and get irradiated and then killed and then come back as a rainbow like we did, I'll ask Mr. Lloyd to put it back together, and I'll be the one pulling the lever on you. That's what they call returning a favor. I think. Anything for you, pal. You're a regular bird four. <laughs> um, are you afflicted with choice paralysis? Shiny! Decisions, decisions. So, what do we think? Not bad. 